Just take me back to Sparkly and Dinky. Fine. You really aren't going to stop Discord? No. If me saving the world is all you care about, then I don't need you. <laughs> my doctor. Get off of me. Just get the hell out of my sight. Go, damn it. Happy now? You say that you don't want a long-term relationship with any pony, yet you wanted Derpy to come with you. Why? Because I trusted her. Just admit it. You still care about Ditsy, and you care about her so much that you were avoiding her just to stop yourself from hurting her. Yeah, no. I'm avoiding her because it hurts me. She's a useless traitor. That's why. I just remembered something. You have the ability to erase memories. If you don't want to deal with Derpy anymore, why don't you make her and the kids literally forget about you? Impossible. If she forgets me, she forgets the kids. Besides, why bother when I want her to suffer? You don't even want to be happy, do you? You just want to wallow in your own misery and anger like a fucking failure you are. You don't deserve Twilight. In fact, you don't deserve any point. You're so goddamn pathetic, you can't even bother to make yourself happy. Maybe I am. Or maybe I'm just looking for new ways to enjoy myself. Maybe you should go talk to a doctor about your condition. I mean, a real doctor, not a doctor as in the other doctor. I mean, ugh, go get yourself a checkup. You know, that's not a bad idea. I think I know just the right nurse to make an appointment with. Oh, this is bound to show that little wall-eyed putz how much I despise what you did. Nurse Redheart, yes. You're going to go see Nurse Redheart, aren't you? It's so good luck, and don't forget to turn your head and cough. Oh, come on, no. She is such a slut. Not you, sweetheart. What did you mean by, I know just the nurse? Come on, doctor, I know you better than that. Surely you should totally be pimping out and getting as many nurses as damn possible. <sighs> Way ahead of you. What's all that noise? Say hi to your hospital neighbor. Hi. <laughs> what about her guardian pony? He seems to not like you very much. What if he gets a hold of you for hurting Ditsy? Guardian what? <laughs> so you seduce the core. Good job. You deserve a high five in the face with a chair. Bonk. Hey, isn't that... I think yep, that is one. Yeah, Arrow's daddy. Huh. Damn, cool. Crossover. Yep. Um, who was Arrow's daddy? I think he... I think he, uh, Maydrop played him. Yeah. Okay. Um... <clears throat> let's see, what's the voice? Uh... Get off your... To your time lord. Derby going sub sub. If you ever come back here, I'll kill you. Oh. You still got your wings. Flap. Oh, God. I've already died once from falling from a building. I don't plan on doing it again. <laughs> Fourth Doctor Regeneration. What? I'm flying. I'm flying. I'm flying. I'm flying. Oh, oh. Well, that went way worse than expected. But at least I was flying, and that face she made when she saw me <laughs> completely worth it. What? That smell. 
know it. It can't be. Not her. Not here. A fun fact, Time Lords can smell each other and are capable of sniffing each other out. Also, this is not Colgate. This is Minuet. Might be a good idea to read through her blog a bit to see who she is because she's a part of this story. Oh, that's a nice picture. I like that. Thank you for 4K followers. <sighs> I know that smell. So what do other Time Lords smell like? Uh, they smell like Time Lords. No other way to explain it. They each have their own smell. Some pony you know, Doctor. Also, how does it feel to finally be able to fly properly? Uh, regrettably. Some one, not some pony. What are you afraid of, Colgate and her brushes? She's harmless. That was most certainly not Colgate. Oh, I don't, uh, why don't you want to talk to or see Minuet? Minuet? That's what she calls herself now? So she gave herself a disgusting pony name. Well, are you going out there? What? Are you insane? There's no way I'd want to face that woman. Doctor, now that you saw Minuet, what are you going to do? Are you going to confront her and see what she's up to? Or are you going to run and hide until she is gone? I'm going to do what I do best. Run. I think she noticed you. What will you do now? Hiding under the bed is not a viable option for a Time Lord, is it? I guess you'll have to face her soon. I, I can't face her. I just can't. Not after what I've done. She'd never forgive me. And even if she did, I can't ever forgive myself. So that's why I had to run. Run and never look back at my misdeeds. I need a bloody drink. Nothing like a good drink to drown all the guilt away. Oh, I know, I know. Do you solve all your problems with sex and violence? You forgot the alcohol, amigo. What is the rum god? The house. I... I drank it all. Stop drinking lightweight beer. Have some warm sake. Truth? Truth? You're the doctor! You've got a time machine! You can change the truth! Uh, you all play it so bloody like loose, is she? But it's not. Key? Yeah, it's from Long Island. I'm moving. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, if you delete Derpy's memories, then the kids go away, so they're related to you in some way? Because they were loomed on a planet I hook her to. Duh. Bullshit. Explain exactly how and where you were. But uh, where you found a working loom, you were able to loom Dinky and Sparkler. <laughs> That's easy. They were loomed like Jenny Wolf, except for Derpy. And they was all, are you my mummy? Which was pretty adorable, actually. And then... Dear Doctor, there's so many vices out there than... Uh, other than just hard cider. There are probably more herbal remedies you can try to take the edge off. And I've heard there's some magical ones, too. Just making some suggestions. Daft. Oh, 
Maybe that's not a bad idea. Oh, hey. Have you ever considered smoking a little bit of herb? It might calm you down a bit. I, I don't mean that in a bad way. Just, I mean, I'd be more than happy to let you smoke some with me. Hold on. I'll be right off. Babe, I have seen some shit that would blow your mind, like our Katyn Five and Butterfly people. Dude, that's awesome. But man, what are people? Ugly, that's what. I am going to totally mess up this word. Raxacor Cephalopatorians. <laughs> I don't need, and don't even get me started on those. Raxacorecophalopatorians. Raxacorecophalopatorians. Big word thingy. Raxacorecophalopatorians. Raxacorecophalopatorians. Close enough. Click. Oh. You seem really active, Doctor. I thought your plan was sit there and do nothing. Ugh, kind of. It's not the whole plan, though. Okay, Doctor, I gotta ask. What's the next step? What's your plan now? I know it's been a while, but what are your goals of, of this moment? My plan? Do nothing for the universe. Do everything for me. And only me. Do you believe in ghosts? Of course. Ever heard of the Gelf? Nasty fuckers. Did you ever fall in love at first sight? If so, who was it? Yes, I have. I knew I needed her the moment I saw her. Where is Amara? She's right here. So, you call inanimate objects sexy. Seems like we do have something in common then. Anyway, if you decide, uh, had to decide what's sexier, TARDIS or the fancy hourglass you've got there? How could you make me choose between the two loves of my life? And how dare you call my sexy inanimate? My TARDIS is very much alive and sentient, you sensitive plonker. <laughs> Um, comfy bed. I just sleep in it more. Not like it's being used anymore, anyways. Now that you're back to your normal self, do you mind showing us around the kitchen you have in your TARDIS? I bet it's amazing. How's this? Oh my god, Doctor, you mu absolutely must try this. Hands a bacon milkshake. Hmm, not bad. I understand that you hate derpy, and there's more, most likely no change in it. But why do you call her fat ass? She is in no way fat. If you're going to call her names, then at least stick to calling her ones she actually is. Butts to you. This doesn't look like a fat ass to you. She's clearly a fatty. She knocks down foundations with that traitorous ass. <laughs> oh, come on! Did she a traitor? She only said that because she knew something was wrong with you. The hitting, the giving up. She knew if she continued to stay with you as you were, discorded and depressed, it would never feel the same as when you were normal with her. Sissy still loves you, and I know deep, deep down you still love her, too. And don't you dare lie. Shut up. You don't understand a thing. She's a traitor, and I feel nothing but spite for her. No, sir. You are the traitor. You are letting countless lives die because you are too darn stubborn. You wrap yourself in a web of lies, and who exactly do you lie to? Yourself. 
You are still who you were before you were discorded. You just need to stop running away and take a, take the deal with the real truth. I'm not lying. This is me. Bloody learn to accept that or piss off. I got you some camera lilies. I thought the Titus could use a touch of spring. <laughs> oh, oh God, I'm turning more pony. <laughs> the worst part is, they actually taste kind of good. Horse face, doctor, for the win. So, doctor, everything okay? How are you doing? There's no escaping, is there? I'll just keep becoming more equine the longer I stay here. But at this point, I barely even care anymore. How do you tie a necktie with hooves? I stopped questioning the strange physics of Ponyverse hooves a long time ago. Hello, discarded teams. I have a question for you. I've been churned to chocolate. Do you think you'd help me out? Maybe if you were white chocolate with strawberry bits in it, but you're not, so no. Hey, can you save crab apple from her incestuous rapist custard and Rayburn before she gets eaten by Lovecraftian monster? <laughs> what? Stop the only straight and dominant braver in a known multiverse? And as if. So then, Doctor, why? Why do you do as you do? Why well, do nothing? Because I simply stopped caring about everyone else. That's why. I know what you say about not helping anyone anymore. But since they rely on you so much, can't you at least warn them you won't be helping anymore? Just pick a fitting time, lean out of the sexy door, and shout something along the lines of, Screw you, you're on your own. Ooh, that sounds fun. Screw you, world, you're on your bloody own. No, oh, that felt fantastic. I think I want to make prank calls now. Ring, 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 banana phone. Hello? Hello, Doctor. This is your local Transmat delivery service, reminding you that your shipment of 50 pear crates is on its way. What? Wait. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was great. Reference to clockwise first tumbler da, 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 da. you know doctor you seem to be quite friendly towards children like cutie pie why is it that you don't want to be dinky and sparkler's father fatherly i don't know what you mean i hate rats especially babies as someone who can speak baby fluently, I can tell you they say the worst things. Besides, it's painful enough being an ex-father. Twice. I don't... want to be one a third time. So, Doc, back to being a cult, hmm? Now that that crisis is over, good that Derby's children were loomed, but the genetic loom doesn't produce immature babies. What aren't you telling us, Doctor? The loom wasn't meant for ponies. There were complications that caused immaturity in body and mind. You don't get any say in what happens, Sparkler, uh, to Sparkler, Doc. She's not your concern, remember? I'd met just pay her a visit. I hear young ladies love us omnipotent types. Keep it up and I will have a say in it. Stay away from Sparkler or suffer the wrath of a Time Lord. So, is it possible for Ditsy to ever make up to you? Maybe, but it's up to her. 
Was there ever a pony you truly loved? No, I, I loved humans. I loved a brilliant woman who I saw die. I don't like ponies. Don't you ever get alone? I wonder what must go on in your mind when that happens. <laughs> go away. Oh dear, you seem in need of a hug. Um, do you mind? Hugs are useless. Go away. Wow, you really are lonely. Want to talk about it? Oh, no, that just makes it worse. Does tea calm you down? What's your favorite kind? Oh, was that coffee? It's tea, yes. I, it does help a bit. This is right here. This right here is my favorite. Don't worry, Doctor. Here's this gigantic piece of high quality butter. But it never fails to cheer up any pony. Oh, no need. I have plenty of, plenty of butter here. In my tea. Yak's butter. Ah, Tibetan butter tea. You are brilliant. You've got me curious. What do babies say you, that you think is terrible? They think bow ties are lame. Bow ties are not lame. They are sexy. <laughs> I know this is an odd question, but have you ever tried honey butter? It's like the king of butters. It's salty and buttery, but oh, so sweet. Tried on toast. It is the best form of butter. All butter is good. Butter for me. Mm. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> what caused your addiction to butter? <laughs> Hey, Doctor, when did you discover you love butter so much? Hmm. What? What's on this <clears throat> muffin? Um, butter? Mr. Doctor, sir, where did you go? <laughs> butter makes everything better. Everything. Perfect to the Lorax at the end. Mm, so good. Hmm? My head. My head. No, I don't want. I, I can't. Oh, I, oh. Interesting. Uh. Ah, legs work wonderfully. Good. Oh, hello. I'm a unicorn. Not bad at all. Uh, except for this bow tie. It's so tacky. Also, the lack of a ginger mane is upsetting. Ah, much better. Well, might as well find out what kind of pony I am. Hmm. What to eat? What was I thinking having all this butter? I hate butter. No! Stay out. I think you should do Scottish because I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be uh, 12. Mm, looks more like 3 to me. There needs to be a lot of changes around here. If, if he starts reversing the polarity of the neutron flow, then... Well, I could go over the Scottish for a second. Hello again, my dearest. Marshmallow. Care to come with me? Do I ever? Now, I just have one more thing I must do before we go. Uh, of course, Doctor. Ditsy, derby doo I'm so sorry. Doctor? All right, my loves, to adventure through time and space, without butter, forward and out, to victory. Without 
<laughs> I knew this was some dream. I never want to regenerate. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I need to compose myself. <laughs> That's it. No more butter tea before bed. April Fools, every pony. I was hoping a butter binge and a nap would help me feel better. Stupid nightmare. Oh, something's in the transmat. Ooh, I heard you like pears, so I sent you a gift. Enjoy your new toy. Oh, do we go? Not the pear of agony. A pear of anguish. Okay, pear of anguish aside. Yo, Doc, why are your wings so big now? I suppose they are bigger. Hmm. <laughs> You've had those wings for so long and you still don't know how to use them? Boy, I've been humanoid for over 900 years. You think it's easy to learn? Let me break this down, Doc. Wings! It doesn't. The sooner you learn how to fly, the sooner you'll gain an advantage on avoiding that maneuvering it. Unless, of course, you like getting caught. Of, no, of course I don't. <laughs> alright, alright. Fine. Uh, I'll get flying lessons. <sighs> I'll go locate some flying tutors. This is bloody embarrassing. By the way, this is what he was given. Also, yes, his wings have been growing. Look at how little they are when you first got them. <laughs> 